so many epic fights in the octagon, but there's also, of course, the epic story that Pat Miletic told about the infamous bar brawl in England in 2002 after UFC uh, 38. And I know you must get sick of people asking you this question, Chuck, but since we got one chance uh, to speak to you here, Pat said that once this brawl erupted, you had your back against the wall and you were knocking out whoever came at you. And uh, Tito Ortiz fought Lee Murray. Apparently, Lee knocked Tito down and stomped him in the in the head with his boot. I'm just wondering, what do you remember for that crazy night in England in 2002? And do you remember how many people you ended up knocking out that night? Um, you know, I, I, I thought the number was around five. I, I wow. mean, I was as high as seven or eight, but... I mean, I, I know how to fight in groups. I mean, big, big brawls. I grew up fighting a lot. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I know how to fight. Uh, and I hit hard. So, um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, about him, I don't know about, I, I don't know what happened. I, uh, and, by the way, I think Miltis took off. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Everyone's got different memories of the night. <laughs> I didn't see Tito and uh, Maurice square off at all. All I know is Tito was trying, was up and chasing at, and trying, trying to go after him when the cop showed up. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. I mean, my, my funniest story for that is I had actually, I had a guy um, that got back here a few years ago when I was doing interviews mm -hmm. for uh, for Glover fighting John Jones. Mm -hmm. uh, someone asked me, so, okay, I waited, you know, I, whatever it was, 10, 11 years for this. Um, I was there that night and I saw you knock out X amount of guys. And I, I had to ask, I had to ask, I have to ask you this question. When you, when the cop showed up and you walked away with that girl, did you know the girl? I'm up. No, man. I've been this a long time. When the cops showed up, uh, I I knew uh, everyone was. I was there. I was just trying to help out a buddy, so I didn't want someone to get hurt. And I I, I so I when the cops showed up, I, I, it was all over. Everyone's safe now. It's time for me to get out of here. I put my arm around the first girl I saw. I said, "Hey, do you want to go get breakfast?" Uh, <laughs> and just walked right by the cops. I was the only guy not detained by the cops. So. <laughs> They, they, they had to talk to the cops all night, so I got to go home. So uh, it was uh, it was funny. Do you want to get I, breakfast? I had the guy actually, uh, and then, so I know I know for sure he was. When he said he was there for sure, I, I know for sure he was there because because that's exactly what I did. As soon as, as soon as the guy I heard the cops showed up, got, I mean, like I said, I fought a lot growing up. Uh, when the cops showed up, you learned how to disappear. And and did you guys get breakfast? You and that girl? Oh yeah, I, I took her out to breakfast. <laughs>